We are just about ready to get things going today. And a fastball misses here to start the at-bat. It's 1-0. Swing and a tapper out in front. And the catch is made, one away. Professor will get a second shot now. now he grounded out to start the ball game. Professor. All right, come on now. One time. And this is swung on and pretty well hit. Out to deep left center field. And that ball is gone. Home run. So a solo shot here to left center field as the Giants are staked to a 1-0 lead. You just can't throw that pitch right there. That swing tells a story right there. I mean, he got all of that one. Remember, he homered in yesterday's ball game too, so he's riding a pretty good hot streak these past couple of days. Shelby Miller makes his way to the plate to get us started here in the bottom of inning number three. Now the one and one pitch. Slider, and that's hit on the ground towards second. One away. Professor will dig in now. One for two to this point. Second baseman, Professor. All right, this is your pitch, right here, right here. I was fighting that swing the whole way, but he went around. It's no balls and a strike. And this is a spot where you got a chance to put away a team early. So this becomes a very important at bat for both teams. And this pitch is up and in as he backs away. It's ball one. And right now, he shouldn't have any second thoughts about working hard inside. Even if you hit the guy, you've got the open base to protect. Now, meanwhile, this ball's going to get through, and that's a base hit. One run scores. The throw to the plate. And they will not get him at the plate as two runs are in, and it's five to nothing. Well, this guy's been swinging a hot bat here in the series, so you can't call this unexpected. Just absolutely rakes this ball, and he's going to drive in two more on the double. So a runner in scoring position with two men gone. And standing in is the center fielder, Gregor Blanco. There's the cut fastball, but it's low 1-0. No, you start to worry that maybe this already has the makings of a short outing. And that's not what that man right there wants to hear. He'd hate to have to make a change this early, but he might have to. And he gets some pretty good wood on it here as this is lifted to fairly deep left. Borges is going to have room out there as he puts this away. Professor will dig in. He homered back in inning number three. Now this pitch is stroked into right center field and that'll get down for a base hit. A couple of hard hit balls here to start the inning. The first one found a glove, but not this one though. He's on with a one out single. So a runner at first now with one away and standing in is the center fielder, Gregor Blanco. Big hole on the right side. Here's the first pitch. There's the circle change and a dandy that time as he jumps ahead with strike one. Now a swing and a sharp ground ball toward the hole. Descalzo, the relay, not in time as he beats the throw by a step. And as we wrap things up here, what do you say we name this guy right here as the recipient of our Tops Player of the Game Award? Well, he winds up with three quarters of the cycle. Couldn't quite squeeze in the triple, but that's all right. Definitely did enough to earn himself the hardware.
Professor will stand in. He grounded out his first time. Professor. Hey, here we go, big guy. Wait for yours. First offering on the way. Fouled straight back. Hey, get a good one. Get a good riff on it, huh? Hey, you better fly up there, get huh? The double play for crying out Off oh, speed pitch out. in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Hey, get your pitch up there, huh? Ugh. All right, come on now. One time. Let it fly. Hey, one down, one down. Now a swing and a ball hit high in the air into shallow left center. Ludwig calls everybody off as he takes control for out number two. Todd Frazier will stand in. He grounded out his first time. Now a ball hit back up the middle. A bare hand for one. And a bit of a high throw that time, but no problem over there at first as they record the out. Johnny Cueto will stand in in what would appear to be a sacrifice situation here. Fifth inning, two to one our score. On oh, its tailor made to short, six, four, three, and they turn the double play. Boy, and this is a tough turn out there at short. You can see him be forced to backhand the ball and then pivot on that right leg and throw against the momentum of his body. Nothing simple about that throw, and that's an easy one to throw right out into right field. Professor will step in now. He's bounced out and flown out in his first two plate appearances. Check swing, but he held up in time, ball one. <laughs> If he would have swung at that, he would have never heard the end of it. And here's his fastball for a cold strike one, and he's hitting an even 90 on the gun. Yeah, that first fastball took off on him a little bit. This is a much better spot. Here's a fastball that he laces the other way into left, and this will split the gap for extra bases. And around the bag now, third base coach Tim Flannery's waving him in. And they're not going to get him. He's in there at the plate. Well, this is what happens when you allow that leadoff man to get on base. I thought they might hold him at third with nobody out, but he comes all the way around to score from first on the RBI double. Hunter Pence will stand in. Two hits in two trips thus far. First pitch of the at-bat is lined hard into the gap in left center. That'll find some real estate out there for extra bases. And the run will score from second base as they open it up now 4-1. to one. And he will pull into second with an RBI double. Zach Kozart will start things off here for Cincinnati with Joey Votto to follow next. Swing, hard hit ball to second. Throw to first is in time for the first out. Yeah, another good start to an inning for him here. He's really only made one bad pitch the entire game. That was the solo home run. Professor will stand in now in what could be a real make-or-break situation. And you think at this point you have to get something out of this inning. The further you get into that bullpen, the tougher it's going to be to claw back from this deficit. And the slider hangs on him a bit that time as it's belted out toward deep center field. A leap at the wall, but forget it, it's gone, a home run. So a two-run shot to left center as they pull even, it's 6-6 now. Boy, this would have been one heck of a play out there in center field. You can see him tracking this ball. He's got it in his sights all the way. And he's not going to miss this by much. He nearly brought it back into the yard. Ball chopped foul right at home plate, and it's 0-1. Here's a line drive. 
alive, and this game may not stay tied for long. That's down for extra bases. Here comes the go-ahead run. Now the relay home. Oh, and that could very well wind up being the game winner right there. He gets a good pitch that he can handle, puts a nice swing on it, and he'll give his guys a two-run lead here in extra innings. And a very good performance offensively for this bunch. But out of everyone, I think we should single out this fellow right here as our top player of the game. Yeah, he delivered more than once with runners in scoring position. Finished with five RBIs, and that was more than enough to lead his guys to victory. A look there at the home of the Giants. Beautiful AT&T Park in San Francisco. Tonight, game two of this three-game weekend series between the New York Mets and the San Francisco Giants. And let's not forget our two starting pitchers as you see how they match up for this one. Professor will take his cuts now. Second baseman, Professor. Gone off a second, now the pitch. A bit high there, a ball and no strikes. Hey, let's go, big fella. Reaches down and hits this one on the ground to short. And boy, an error saver there at first if he kept his foot on the bag. He did. Ah, oh, what a play for the second out. Professor will stand in. He grounded out his first time. Hard hit towards center. And that'll get down for a base hit. Yeah, that's a two-out hit here in the third inning. Maybe just a little something to get this guy out of his early comfort zone and put him into the stretch. Michael Morse will get a shot here with two away and a runner at first now following the base hit. That two-out single seemed harmless enough, but anytime you extend the inning to allow this guy to get a shot with a runner on, you better be careful. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. And a close play at second. Professor will dig in one for two. He grounded out the first time and followed that with a base hit in his second plate appearance. Good fastball there from Cologne. It's nothing in one. <laughs> yeah, no mistake about that one. That one's right there. And a swing and a ball hit well down the left field line, but back into the crowd foul. Runner aboard at first here with two gone in a 1-1 ball game. Pagan holding, and now here's the pitch. And this ball's pulled on the ground down the line to first. And he'll step on the bag himself and the... Professor will dig in. Strikeout victim his last time. There's a strike at the knees, 0-1. Now he goes the other way with a fastball, and he got a lot of it high and deep to left center field. And that ball is gone! Santa Maria, game over! So a solo shot here to left center field, and none bigger than that one as this ball game is over. Well, it looked like he saved his best work here for the final swing, and these guys are certainly hamped up as he wins it with a game-winning homer.